Hi. Well, today's a very special day. In fact, it's two special days. Today is my Aunt Helen's birthday. She's actually was my grandmother's oldest sister, a pure, pure Hungarian. And they sure knew how to make, they sure knew how to cook. Unbelievable what my, my, what, the, what my Aunt Helen was able to cook. Same as the thing with my grandmother, my Aunt Belle. They were wonderful, wonderful women. And I truly miss them a lot. Well, every time I went to Aunt Helen's house, she always had these little cakes out. I used to call them miniature cakes. They were so delicious and so yummy. And I remember like it was yesterday. Aunt Helen and oh, she was married to my uncle. She was married to Uncle Charlie. Uncle Charlie was by marriage, but he was an uncle to me. No matter how you slice, he was still an uncle. And every time I went into Aunt Helen's house, I guess they always had these like little miniature cakes loaded with custard cream and or usually frosted with chocolate uh, uh, frosting. If I could only find the recipe, dig it up somehow, I would gladly make it for you folks sometime because it was a really wonderful thing that she used to make. And I'm trying to remember what else Aunt Helen used to have in her house. I know she always had some ice cream around, always some nice delicious treat for us kids, you know. While the adults talk, we had something to do, obviously. She lived in East Orange in the same uh, apartment building where my grandmother Elizabeth lived. It was a high-rise apartment, really big apartment, you know. And today is also another special day, folks. Today is International Cousins Day. And yes, International Cousins are wonderful, wonderful people. I can't tell you how many cousins I have at this point in my life. Because the cousins had cousins, had kids, and the kids had kids, and maybe the kids even had kids, kids, kids. So I can't tell you how many cousins I actually have. I have first cousins, I have second cousins, third cousins, fourth cousins, fifth cousins, and maybe even sixth cousins at this point. There's no way of knowing. And many of the, uh, other, the other generations are already gone. The older generation of cousins are already gone, most of them, you know. And yes, I have had many first cousins. I have, uh, let's see, four first cousins. And then I have second cousins and third cousins, you know, and it just goes, the list goes on and on. So my dad, now and then we have the car, the Cousins Club, would have a picnic in the backyard. And my father used to make the best hamburgers, hot dogs, and sausage. His sausages were unique. My father was a wonderful, wonderful man. But when he made sausages on the grill, it was raw inside, burnt on the outside. I don't know how he did that. I can't figure out how anybody could do that, but my father was able to do that. He was a genius, but it was, it was always a funny joke that we talk about. You know, my father's sausages were inside, burnt on the outside. Who knows? He had a way of doing it. But he was a wonderful man, and I truly miss him. And I miss a lot of my cousins from the generation that came, you know, before me. I mean, after me. I mean, before me. And I have to think, I, I probably have thousands of cousins at this point. That's all I can tell you. I mean, you know, I'm doing a family tree, and, and I keep finding kids are having kids, and kids are having kids, 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 you know. From Deborah Ray's Home Country Kitchen, have a great day.